Hey guys, it's Poku here with a Sunday episode. This time I decided to do some VGC because I have two teams that I want to showcase and I realized that I can showcase one on Sunday's episode and one on Wednesday's episode. So that's the reason for having another VGC episode. I think this team is really cool. It features Phalanx and Didi, no retreat Phalanx, and then Drifloom, which is not commonly seen, and then obviously the OG Snorlax, and then Ensign or everyone knows it's really good. So let's jump in. So my opponent has Porygon Z, which its max strike is super super powerful, so I have to be really careful. I think I can lead. I think I can really lead in DD Phalanx, but if he leads Rillaboom and he has no speed investment, he will get its terrain set up, but that's okay. I just want in DD to follow me. And then for team members, he has a so he has the Rillaboom Cinderace. So I'm thinking of bring in Cinroar. But also I see Drifloom can do really- I mean Drifloom's Shadow Ball doesn't hit two of his Pokemon so that's kinda not useful. I think Incineroar is good because it has Intimidate and Flare Blitz for Orb Beetle. And then for last Pokemon, I see Snorlax doing really well but I also see Alakazam in the Psychic Terrain. So what should I bring? Also Encore is really useful. So should I bring the bulky Snorlax or should I bring Alakazam? Well, I mean, Snorlax doesn't do well against Cinderace and Willaboom. But then Alakazam doesn't do well against either, either. I mean, I guess there's more opportunity with Alakazam, right? If it has a terrain up. I'll go Snorlax. Oh, bro, I disconnected. Dude, hopefully I can still select my team. Okay, Indeedy, Phalanx, that, and then uh, Alakazam. Okay, phew, phew, we got everything in. Let's see, he says the Orbital Porygon Z. He's gonna probably Max Strike or Hyper Beam or whatever in into Phalanx, I'll just no retreat and they'll follow me. And I focus Sash, so it's okay. And I guess... What? Okay, okay. Let's see what happens. I feel like he's probably gonna bring Cinderace or Rillaboom. He might bring Cream Arena. Okay, this is good. He max strikes, gets my Sash, which doesn't really matter. Ooh, dude, and we got Defiant. Oh, that's pretty dank. And then he Bug Buzz, knocks it out. That's fine. And then we get the no retreat off. And now we can bring it in Sinroar or bring him. I feel like. Yeah, I should bring in Sinroar. So you can fake out the Ore Beetle. And then. Dude, I just feel like. Yeah, I'm just gonna max Knuckle the Porygon Z. And then fake out the Ore Beetle. Because I feel like he could ex. I mean, if he has like. He could have Expanding Force. Does Ore Beetle learn Expanding Force? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, he just switches out into his own Indeedy. Yeah, so he may be expanding force, whatever. Oh, dude, I completely forgot I had Psychic Train, bruh. Okay, at least at least Porygon, Porygon's gone. Yeah, Max Knuckle. Ah, that's just gone. But now my speed lowered, so indeed, oh, dude. Second disconnect. Second disconnect. That's so annoying. Dude, my wife has been kind of acting up recently. Okay, what is he gonna go out into? Let's see, Phalanx has a lot of stats, but I don't know if it's like... I feel like I should just max guard this turn. Yeah, I really should max guard, and then I'll just Flare Blitz the Orb Beetle. And then next turn. Because I feel like he's just gonna attack Phalanx, because it's plus 4, super dangerous. And also, he doesn't have anything he can do to Incineroar. Yeah, he goes for Expanding Force, obviously. Oh, hey, and he double Expanding Force, that's good, that's good. And then we just knock out Orb Beetle. Useful, useful. Oh, that makes up for the Fake Out play. Dude, I'm so stupid for dude. Oh, fake out. Oh, we have a chance with Phalanx. Um, I feel like I should. I'll max Steel Spike. And I'll Flare Blitz. I'll double up the Indeedy. Oh, he might knock that. I mean, he probably knocks us out. It's okay. Oh, dude, he knocks out. Because if he didn't knock out Phalanx, I'm pretty sure Expanding Force just wins. Unless he has Sucker Punch. Okay, well, Expanding Force for sure. Because we're faster by one speed point. We'll see how this goes. Bro. It's that fake out play. What if I just. Dude, I should have just went for Flare Blitz into that. Or Beetle. Okay, okay. We knock out. We knock that out. What are you gonna go for, though? Oh, he doesn't do that much, right? And I feel like. I'll Dazzling Gleam. Let's see. Okay, wait, how much Dazzling Gleam? That's like 30%, right? So we should knock this out. We should win. 
Alright, please, hurry up. This should knock it out. Alright, good, good, good. GG. That was good game, that was good game. Dude, I feel so bad for that play. I will do another VGC. I'll do four battles. Or maybe I can do more. We'll see. It's until I showcase this whole team. Okay. This team's kind of Oh, he has another Porygon Z. So this is the time I can bring Driftbloom. Because if Driftbloom sets up, it does really well. Yeah, definitely bringing Driftbloom. And then... I mean, I see Phalanx doing okay as well. But one Pokemon I really want to use in this is uh, Snorlax for sure. And then... I see either Incineroar, which I don't think it's good in this matchup, or Phalanx. Or I can even bring Alakazam. I'll bring Phalanx. I feel like if it gets up a no retreat, it does a ton of damage. Because it's Iron Head for Sylveon. Iron Head is pretty good against Amoongus. I mean, it'll probably do like 40%, right? But that's still useful. It chance to flinch. I'm really scared of that Gyarados. We'll see. I mean, if he leads Amoongus, at least I can expanding force it. And he doesn't have any terrain control. That's why indeed he's so good. Like, if you're playing this format, you need some sort of terrain control. Because if you let an opponent take advantage of Psychic Terrain or Grassy Terrain, or even Electric Terrain, you're just... You're in a terrible position. Let's see. Also, sorry, this might have made a noise. I was just changing positions. Um... Oh, good. We proc the... So now our speed's double. I feel like I should go for... I'm gonna go for Expanding Force. Because it's just gonna do a lot of damage overall. And then I'll go for Calm Mind. Like, he could attack the Drifblim, and then I'll just Strength Sap it all off. Which he does attack the Drifblim. He Hyper Voice I Live. Which is... What oh, he's Throat Chop? Or no, not Throat Chop, like a Throat Spray. As so we definitely outspeed this. So should I follow me? Hmm, no. We'll just strength sap the Gyarados. Which will get us back up. Yeah, it gets us back up to like 80%. As you sorry, the screen. There. This is good. And then. Let's see. I'm definitely gonna go into Phalanx and actually max. I'm gonna max Steel Spike. And should I Tailwind? No, I feel like I should just Strength Sap again. He's. Oh, because it's not a weak to. Oh, shoot. Wait. Oh, good, good, good. We knocked that out just fine, and now he has Snorlax. So this game isn't impossible. Did I completely? Oh, because Sylveon's gonna run Quick Attack to boost Dragapult. I understand. Which can proc weakness policy on Dragapult. Oh, and it can also use it as a priority move to pick off opponents. Dude, that's genius. He already used his max, so... Um, I feel like... I'll definitely max Knuckle, and I'll just curse. Cause yeah, Waterfall isn't that off. Oh, he Hyper Beam. He just doubles up. That's okay. Then maybe I should attack Gyarados then. Let's see what his last Pokemon is. Hopefully it's uh... I mean, I don't know what I want to see. I don't want to see. Ooh, yes, yes. So he'll definitely try to aim the Incineroar. And knock it out. And then let's see. Let's hope Phalanx can finish this battle off. Which, remember, if Gyarados goes for a bounce, I can go for no retreat, and then I can follow up with close combat. So let's see how this goes. Um, I mean, he's, I see... I mean, I assume Gyarados is gonna go for a bounce here, right? Yeah. We knock out Incineroar for sure. Which is nice. And then... Do I live? Oh, I have Protect. Wait. Let's go. And now I no retreat. For sure. And he's gonna go for like waterfall. It's not gonna do that much. And then no retreat. Dude, Phalanx. See, this is why Phalanx is so good. Actually, no, it's not super good. 
It's just like I kind of got lucky that he brought this team. Missed though. Fallings did well. I mean, hopefully we win. Oh yeah, and Citrus Berry. Good, good, good. No Richie. See, so I hear the bulky set, and then I'll Iron Head first because I don't want to lower my stats. Iron Head does like. Oh, Iron Head does a ton, so we'll just close combat. We'll knock it out. GG. Oh, come on. Unless he gets a whole bunch of waterfall flinches. Which I guess he need. he needs to get three waterfall flinches. Because you can't go for a bounce because we have protect. Dude, I completely forgot we had protect. Dude, I wanna I wanna have a battle where I psycho. Like imagine I have all these stats and I just psycho. Dude, defiant phalanx. So good. Okay, yeah, we definitely protect here. And we go for close combat. Good, good. GG. Dang. Now let's move on to battle number three. Dude, Phalanx. Phalanx is so good. Also, I'm kind of surprised we won the first two. Not gonna lie. Um. Alright, let's see. Ooh, do he has Talon Flame? Okay. Now, Talon Flame's priority can be mitigated with Psychic Turns. So we definitely have that going for us. So that's why I think Indeedy Talon Flame is such a weird combo. Like, you should use, like, Pinkurchin on a Talon Flame team or Rillaboom. Or even Weezing with a Misty Surge, like the Galar one. I feel like this team I can just lead Indeedy Alakazam. Have Incineroar in the back. Because it, it, it takes hits from a lot of my opponents. And then. Yeah, we can just have the Goat, Snorlax. Honestly, this priority doesn't work here, and we can just. I feel like I just. I'm gonna f follow me an expanding force this turn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna follow me an expanding force. The reason for this is, um, uh, I don't want, I don't want Alakazam to get knocked down one hit here, just in case Indeedy goes for like Shadow Ball. Or Talonflame goes for like a really strong Flare Blitz. Because Alakazam's like my main damage output here. I mean 187, 160. So I guess indeed he's really strong too, but. Well, so he has a male indeed. I mean which indeed he's better? I mean I'd use the slower one, right? In VGC. In singles I'd use the faster one. But he goes for Tailwind. That's fine. Oh! Bro, hey, not bad, not bad. So we we have to switch, and I will protect this turn. Uh, let's see what he goes for. He goes for Flare Bliss and Incineroar, not bad. And then he's gonna expanding force of his own probably. Okay, so that's okay. And then I'm gonna switch into Snorlax. No, no, not Incineroar. I can fake out the Talon Flame because it's flying, as you know we saw our Drift Flame. Oh, he has Intimidate Tauros. Oh yeah, and that's kind of useless. And then Expanding Force, we do. We're just, we're just giving Snorlax free damage. We're gonna Parting Shot out, and I mean I should max, right? Yeah, I really should just max. Yeah, we'll max and we'll go for Max Quake into Tauros. Oh. oh, do he helping hands? Oh, shoot, shoot! Cause I'm for parting shot. At least he got a special like defense boost. I mean, we really can't do anything right now. So I'll just dazzling gleam, and I'm probably gonna lose this. And I'll max guard this turn. Hopefully he attacks into the... Yeah, he attacks into the Snorlax, and he's gonna Expanding Force. Okay, that's fine. Now the terrain's gone. Um, I mean, I want to G-Max Replenish into Indeedy as he max Knuckles into Snorlax. And then with Dazzling Gleam, there's a chance. Because Alakazam is faster. It still has a really strong Dazzling Gleam. 
I say helping hands. Come on, it's a 90 attack move. Like that should that shouldn't kill. Good, good, good. Then we get the replenish off. Yes. We get G-Max replenish. Good, good, good. Okay, now he's back to normal. I mean, he could Brave Bird, so we'll switch into Ndidi. And... I don't know what we go for. I guess I just, I'll just Facade into Tauros. Hopefully he goes for, like, Brave Bird. I know, he just Flare Bird, so that's a good play. And then we'll go into Alakazam. Oh wait, we can follow me expanding force, right? Wait a second, there's a chance we win this. This might be a comeback. No, we lose. Oh, he's Choice Scarf Tauros. Wait, this set's kind of genius. Superpower Earthquake, some normal type move, and then... On Intimidate Tauros. Okay, good. To Maybe next time I'll bring one of those. I'll bring something like that. Okay, so he has double terrain here and Wigglytuff. So Wigglytuff is uh, so I can't bring Drifloon because he has two Pokemon that are immune. I see Incineroar leading is really good. I also see uh, Indeedee, Phalanx, Alakazam, and Incineroar. I think those are good for. And this will be the last battle. And then after this, we'll do team breakdown. So hopefully this video isn't too long. I mean, do you guys like longer videos? I'll keep making them. I usually get like 3 minutes of average watch time. So if you actually watch the whole video or watch like a majority of it, please tell me. I don't know, more battles, more fun, right? Because I'm still battling. Like even off camera. It's just I'm not commentating. Oh, did we disconnect? Okay. Well... Oh, uh, he's gonna go for Expanding Force. Which I don't want to Expanding Force with my own. So I'll go into Incineroar. And then I'll actually... I'll protect this turn just to see stuff out. Yeah, we take the Expanding Force. And then, okay, so we just have to take a Lash out. Um... I'll Parting Shot into the Alakazam, and I mean, or can I just, wait, I want to double up the Alakazam, right? I feel like I should, I should just double up the Alakazam, because we take Expanding Force, right? Oh, um, yeah, we kind of take it, not really, okay, and we disconnect again, sorry guys for disconnects. Let's see. Uh, what happened here? Oh, so Incineroar went for Parting Shot into my own Incineroar. And then he switched out into his uh, Cinderace. And then he's probably... I mean, he can't go Incineroar or else Phalanx gets an attack boost, right? So I think next turn we'll just switch into Indeedee. And we'll go for... Uh... Oh, dude, he does go Incineroar. For plus three attack. Okay. So we definitely go Indeedee here and just Max Guard. So then next turn we can do the follow me stuff. Which he's gonna attack into the... Yeah, he's definitely gonna attack into the Phalanx. Which, okay. So he does that. So he goes Wigglytuff. So I'll follow me. And... I mean, realistically, I should go for Max Steel Spike. I also see Max Knuckle just hits everything on the Wigglytuff side. So I'll just go for Max Knuckle into Wigglytuff. Which, okay, so I have to take a G-Max Fireball. That's probably gonna bring me Sash, yeah. Because then, I mean, Cinderace is just too strong. And then we knock out Wigglytuff. Okay. So my Dynamax is over. I assume he's gonna max uh, Flying into my Phalanx. So because of that, I'm gonna Expanding Force this turn. And... Just in case he doesn't, I'll close combat. I go for Max Steel Spike. Okay, so because he wants to take the Expanding Force better. And then he Flare Blitz and knocks that out. Okay, not bad. So he has Lash Shout, so I don't want to immediately like commit. 
See, I don't want to immediately commit to not faking out the Incineroar, so we'll fake out, turn, like, we'll fake out, and then, like, spanning force into Cinderace. And if you suck our punch, we're kind of just, like, we're kind of doomed. Wait, but then again, you can just high jump kick. Like, he's definitely gonna high jump kick, though. Oh, because he's a steel type. Oh. I'll Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, and we lose this. So I end up losing two battles in a row. So I'll do one more. Just just so we can end with a positive record. Hopefully. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, so... Dude, Galarian Darmanin and Tan. I haven't seen that in a while. Also, Porygon Z is kind of getting popular. Also, this definitely is the Ndidi uh, Phalanx lead. And then... Oh, well. We need another battle. I mean, I want to... I want to lead, like... I want to show you how good a Incineroar or Snorlax lead is. Or let's do a Snorlax, Phalanx, Incineroar, and... Hmm... Ndidi. Because Ndidi's good support. Also, I should try to run Imprison Ndidi. I feel like it's so useful. But you see that opponent shut me down completely. Okay, let's see. He's gonna... Klefki's really interesting here, and then Urshifu. So he has Klefki and Whimsicott as his support, and I assume Charizard's supposed to be a sweeper mon. Urshifu, and then Darmanitan? I mean, it's either Choice Bandit or Choice Scarf, right? Probably, unless he's Zen Mode. Which I do believe in Zen Mode. Like, I think it could be really good. Yeah, let's go for... Let's go for that. I feel like I can just get a free curse off and then go into Incineroar. Like I was thinking of going in DD and then protecting Phalanx and just going for the follow me strat, I don't think that's a good idea. Because I think Snorlax has a free curse here. Especially... Or not. Because he's just crazy good. Ooh, that's strong. And so I'll try to knock that out and then... I mean, I'm gonna fake out the Charizard. I mean, he could... He could G-Max. Or he could Dynamax, but... If he doesn't Dynamax, this is really useful. Okay, eh, it's kinda useless. Okay. Boy. He changed the terrain. A G-Max Wildfire. At least we... At least you do a ton of damage to that. Clefki. And then... I'm definitely gonna max guard, and I, mean, I flare blitz the Klefki. So I'm happy about the special defense boost, I think that's really useful. I'll max guard the Snorlax to waste the turn of Charizard, as, dude he just goes for, it's a taxi and center, that's a good play. Okay, um, I see. What's the water type? I mean, I'll try to win with Phalanx and Ndidi. Let's go for G-Max Replenish. And... I'm gonna go for Will-O-Wisp into Urshifu. I think that's pretty useful. Okay, this is gonna knock out, uh... Let's see what he goes for. Surging Strikes, yeah, that's just, that's just too good. Too, too strong. Let's go for no retreat. Expanding force. Or I could just... I'm gonna protect an expanding force, actually. Because I feel like it's definitely knocking out Charizard and it'll do a ton to her Shifu. Okay, yeah. Oh, dude. Please attack Phalanx. No. 
Doesn't even... Okay, so we just get wiped. So that's it for this episode. We kind of lost a lot of battles. But I hope, I'm sure you guys enjoyed the team. It was really, it was really, really creative. It wasn't the best, but it was fun. Like, I think that's what we sh that's what we should do on videos. We should bring like fun teams and Pokemon that haven't really seen much usage. I feel like that's most entertaining. I mean, if you want to, if you want me to build like a team that will ladder up high, tell me in the comments below. I'll do that too. But for now, I'll just be using Pokemon that haven't been used before. Like the guy who brought uh, Tauros ended really well with it. You know, we'll be doing stuff like that. And cool combos. Oh, I didn't get a Psych up off in this battle. But, you know, it's okay. It was a cool strat anyways. And I'll go into Team Breakdown now. Hopefully you enjoy. If you're walking out, check out my next video on Wednesday. It'll be another VGC. And, yeah. Bye-bye. Team breakdown time. Team breakdown time. Okay, I can't say it properly, whatever. Um, so I started building this team around Phalanx and Ndidi. I wanted Phalanx to go for no retreat, and then Ndidi had followed me. That was like what I thought of first. And then for Phalanx investment, I wanted to use Adamant because it has a, because attack is probably the highest stat that I can utilize with the boosting nature. And then speed was just outspeed base on 100. That max invest into speed with the speed boosting nature at plus one and close combat iron head that just iron head just so i can hit fairy types and also their good max moves and i had psych up so in case phalanx gets off the no retreat i can psych up and then dd's expanding force is doing a lot heal pulse so it's so it could support phalanx and maybe my other members later on and then i wanted to pair in dd with more pokemon so i chose alakazam to have a speed mode where Ndidi can just follow me, Alakazam can just start spamming Expanding Force. That's pretty simple. Then I paired this with Drifloom. Drifloom can set up Tailwind. So it can out to make it super fast. It can also Strength Slap to lower its opponent's attack. And then the goal is just you Calm Mind and then... You Calm Mind and then you just go for max moves. It's really useful. And then... In the back, I wanted to have two Pokemon that can support my team really well. So I realized I had a dark type weakness. I also had a weakness to physical attackers. Okay, I didn't have that big of a dark type weakness. But you know, like those kind of Pokemon I was weak to. So I decided to bring in Sinnoh with will o -Wisp, fake out parting shot. And I wanted strong attack moves, so I just put Flare Blitz. Pretty useful. And then for my last Pokemon, I realized that if my opponent has up Trick Room, I don't really have anything to do well in it. Like everything, all my Pokemon will be outsped under Trick Room. I'll do a disconnect. So I decided to bring Snorlax. And I put no HP investment because like it already has a massive HP stat. And the high horsepower, f curse, high horsepower, facade, and rest. So it's mainly just the late game Pokemon. High horsepower, so if I max move, I can boost my special defense. And the facade, so I can take advantage of being status. Because you know, if I get burned... I really don't want to have my attack lowered. I mean, I can rest it off, but Facade's just useful. If I get to plus 6, there's really no difference between having Body Slam and Facade, except for the para. So this team is... It's kind of creative. I like... I like bringing creative teams, because it's really entertaining, and it's really fun for me to build. Like, in terms of a ladder aspect, I won't really be using this team. But for making a video, it's really fun. I think before, I used to just make teams that used to be, like, really good for the ladder but it used to not be as fun here i can explore be creative and post good and post content that hopefully people enjoy so yeah that's it i post every sat i post every sunday and wednesday so tune in you know if you subscribe and notifications on you'll be the first to see my video up to you if you enjoy please subscribe like whatever comment tell me what what pokemon you want me to use next i might use it and for now bye bye